Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about scapular movement today. I know that many people uh, do not understand how the scapula moves and it's not really that difficult if you can just practice uh, the movements and learn to identify them. So, I have my little model here. Let's see which side will this be. It will be the right side. The first thing we need to know is what movements of the scapula should occur when. So, when we go into humeral flexion, uh, the scapula should upwardly rotate and posteriorly rotate as well as medially rotate okay so once again posterior rotation looks like this medial rotation the humerus comes forward and upwards rotation the glenoid faces upwards okay when we go into humeral abduction uh, there's a greater degree of external scapular rotation uh, and upwards rotation and not such a, a great degree of, uh, of um, posterior rotation okay so if we have a thorough understanding of scapular movement then it will be of course much easier to, to identify this with our clients and then uh, identify any deviation from this another thing we should know is that when the joint is loaded the rotations of the scapula should happen without any significant elevation or depression uh, we should not see, uh, for example, in the military press that the scapula uh, raises significantly. It should actually stay quite uh, uh, situated in the right place all the time, but just rotate in accordingly to the humeral, um, the humeral movement. However, if we are reaching for something, then it is fine to have some more, uh, some more elevation of the scapula, for example. So I hope you learned something from this. It's a very important topic, I think, and, and I know that many struggle with this, but it's not really that difficult if you can just separate the movements and learn to distinguish between them. So that was that. Have a nice day.